Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back and welcome to any of you who are new today. It's Power for Parkinson's Strength and Balance, yes. And I'm Nancy, I'm coming to you from Austin, Texas, from our Power for Parkinson's office slash studio. So I hope you all are well and healthy and feeling good and ready to work out a little bit. Um, give us a shout out and let us know that you're there. I would like to say hello to you. Especially let me know if you are new today um, so that I can have an idea of who's new. Also, if you have any concerns or you've had an injury or a fall or something like that and you want to let me know, um, if, if, if I can remember, <laughs> I will make some modifications for you and point those out. So please try to do that. Um, I do have some announcements today. So first of all, I want to remind all of you to sign up on our YouTube membership and become a part of our YouTube group. It's great, it's easy, it's not expensive, and you get some perks along with it. Um, like us on YouTube, also on our Facebook page and our Instagram page if you're on those. And please comment share your comments and ideas about our classes with us. So for those of you who are in the greater Austin area, I want to remind you if you have not checked your emails today that we are postponing our in-person classes indefinitely. So no in-person classes right now at any of our in-person locations. We are only doing our YouTube classes. Don't forget, YouTube classes are now all at the same time for your time zone. So if you're in, in California and on the West Coast, it's going to be at 11 o'clock every single day. If you're at, except at Monday through Friday, I'm sorry, Monday through Friday, right? Oh, we are going to go back to 11 central. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Tuesday, so we're going back. Scratch that piece of information. We're going back to the way it was before. So we are having the, the old schedule on our YouTube, and that means that Tuesday and Thursday exercise classes, our fitness classes, will be at 11 o'clock. My... Rhythm and Moves class will stay at 1 o'clock on Thursdays. Okay? Has everybody got it? Check your emails. Okay. Oh, we got a big group today, which makes me happy. <laughs> so Dave is there, Debbie, Marty, Heidi, Joan, Helen is back, Jim and Dodie, Richard, Robert, Patty and Roger, Great to have you back on. Florence, Norman, Steve, and Chris. Great to have all of you on. So please let me know if you are new. And again, let me know if there's anything that I need to know about so that I can uh, mention some modifications for you. Um, our props today. You will need one large cooking spoon. Everybody got that? One large cooking spoon and you can have a tennis ball, a squishy ball like what you use to exercise your fingers, or a pair of rolled up socks. So one large spoon with a long handle, tennis ball, or squishy ball like a racquetball or a pair of rolled up socks. All right, don't forget your water bottles or have a glass of water nearby. That always helps, especially for those of us who are in high heat areas. You wanna stay hydrated as much as possible. So right now, I want you to sit forward in your chairs Pull your back away from the back of the chair. 
Make sure that your feet are lined up with your knees, your toes are straight ahead, and your knees are hip width apart, hip socket width apart. Shoulders are over your hips and pelvis. Your chin is resting on that wonderful imaginary shelf so it doesn't drop, lift, or push forward. Focus straight ahead as much as possible. When you notice that you're dropping your focus toward the floor and you're supposed to be sitting up straight, that means that your chest is rounding. And I want you to try to keep your chest lifted and your focus straight ahead as much as possible. Place your hands on your thighs and maestro, I'm ready when you are. So press your hands against your thighs and let's see if we can lift our spines up at least a quarter of an inch and get a little bit taller. I know I sure need this. Good, keep breathing. Try to minimize the tension here. Stay here with your spine and relax your hands and wrists. Relax your forearms and elbows. Relax your upper arms and shoulders. Soften those neck muscles. Wiggle your jaw. Good, stick your tongue out and say, ah, and again, ah, one more time, a little louder, ah, and now say, la, 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 la. Good job, wiggle your tongue around in your mouth. Poof your cheeks out, suck your cheeks in, poof them out again, Relax your cheeks. Wrinkle up your nose a few times. Relax it, don't sneeze. Lift your eyebrows up and down, up and down, up and down. Good, squeeze your face together. Wrinkle it up and then open it wide. Open those eyes and mouths really wide. Relax it, shake it out gently. Good job. All right, let's begin with some breathing. We're going to do even breaths today. So we'll breathe in through our nose for four counts and out through our mouth for four counts. In for four, out for four, nice and slow. And we'll do this twice. Ready, sitting nice and tall and breathing in one, two, three, four, out through your mouth, one, two, three, four. In through your nose, one, two, three, four. Out through your mouth, one, two, three, four. Relax, breathe normally. Adjust your posture if you need to so you're still sitting tall. Wiggle your toes a little bit and relax them Wiggle your fingers and thumbs and relax them. Lift your spine, bring your focus back straight ahead. Let's increase the breaths now. So we're going to breathe in for five and out for five counts. We'll breathe in and out only through our nose and we'll also do this two times. Ready to begin, sitting nice and tall. Breathing in, one, two three, four, five. Breathing out, one, two, three, four, five. Breathing in, one, two, three, four, five. Breathing out through the nose, one, two, three, four, five. Relax, breathe normally. Wiggle your shoulders a little bit from side to side, up and down, good. All right, place your hands on your head so you feel the size and shape of your head. This is your balloon. You now know the shape and size of it. You can feel it with your fingertips. I want you to pick your favorite color for your balloon. This balloon is filled with helium. Take one hand, pointer finger, place it at the back where your skull connects with your neck. 
That's where the imaginary knot of the balloon is located and attached to that knot is a soft white cotton string. Now your balloon filled with helium is your head and that soft white cotton string attached to the knot is your spine. We're going to imagine in our mind only that the balloon with the string is floating up to the ceiling. So you're going to breathe in and on the exhale you will imagine and picture in your mind the balloon, your favorite color, with the string floating up to the ceiling. We're going to do this twice. If you want to close your eyes to get a better image in your mind, that's fine. Sit nice and tall. Nice slow breath in through your nose. And on the exhale through mouth or nose, relax now and picture your balloon with the string floating up to the ceiling. And again, breathing in, clear picture of the balloon with the string. Breathing out, nice easy exhale, watch that balloon in your mind floating up to the ceiling. So no tension in your upper body, just a feeling of lightness and length. Good job. All right, relax your arms down by your sides. Hold on to that image. Let's float our arms all the way up, hands come together, and exhale, thumbs at your breastbone here. Big breath in here. Breathe out, push the fingers up, lengthen, open. Now put the balloon on again and let it float up to the ceiling here. Breathe in, breathe out, bypass the balloon, reach down, try to touch toes or ankles or maybe shins or knees. Big breath in, reaching forward and up. Breathe out, balloon goes on again and floats up as you relax your shoulders and elbows down. Open, let's do one more time, big breath in. Breathe out, that balloon is already on. Breathe in here, breathe out, lift, lengthen, and watch in your mind that balloon floating up. Breathe in, breathe out, reach far forward. Come down, try to go a little further. Bring your chin towards your chest if it doesn't make you dizzy. Big breath in, reaching all the way up, and breathe out. Exhale, relax shoulders and elbows. Turn your chest, shoulders, and head to your right. Come back to center. Chest, shoulders, and head to your left. Come back to center. Gentle twist, chest, shoulders, and head to your right. Come back to center. Chest, shoulders, and head to your left. Come back to center. Good. Push your fingers forward, cross your thumbs, get ready for your contractions and expansions. So push those arms forward, spread the shoulder blades away from each other. Scoop the pelvis under, so you're really curving your lower back toward the back of the chair. Pull your belly in, soften your chest. Breathe out as you drop your chin. Here's your contraction. Breathe in, lift up on top of your sit bones, lift your spine, open your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Breathe out, rounding the back, contraction. Breathe in, lift the spine, expand the chest. Breathe out, rounding the back, letter C from tailbone to top of head. Breathe in, lengthen and expand, letter I for torso, letter E for chest. Breathe out, contract. Breathe in, expand, one more. Breathe out, contract, breathe in, expand, relax the arms down. Shoulders up and drop, up and drop, bigger, up and drop. Big lift, big drop, big lift, big drop, one more. Big lift, big drop, good. Wiggle up and down. Now single shoulder circles, up, push back, and down, other side, up, push back, and down. First side, up, push back, and down. Second side, up, push back, and down. Both together, up, push back, and down. Up, 
push back and down. Good. Rotate from your shoulder sockets and your upper arms so your palms face the front. Spread those fingers really wide. Feel that opening your chest just a little bit. Keep your chest open and rotate so the backs of your hands face the front. Rotate again to the front and to the back. 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 Rotate to the front. Now bring your fingers together, glue your fingers together, thumbs on the outsides of your hands, ready to scoop up that thick mud. So scoop it up. Fingertips touch your shoulders or your chest, wherever it's comfortable. Press with the backs of your hands through the mud all the way down. Scoop and touch. Press down. Nice, strong muscles. Scoop and touch, press down. Really strong muscles, hug those muscles to the bone. Press down, one more. Scoop and touch, press through the mud, down. Lift your spine, stay tall, rotate the arms from the shoulder sockets. Keep those fingers glued together. Breathe in, exhale, keep your your elbows absolutely straight and press behind you. Reach and reach. Push that mud behind you. Push and push. Keep pushing. Push and push and push and push. Relax. Shake your hands. Shake them out. Shake them up. Shake them down. Diagonals, diagonals, diagonals. Diagonals, good. Swing one arm forward and one back. Start the swing, nice and easy. So now the muscles are relaxed. They're long and stretchy. Your arms are long and stretchy. Your energy is flowing from the center of your chest, your solar plexus, through your shoulders, down your arms, through your elbows, your forearms, into your wrists, into your hands through your fingers, out your fingertips like laser beams. You know what that means. You're all superheroes once again. And turn your head toward your back hand. Nice and easy. Keep that rhythm going. And rest. Laughing shoulders. Ha, 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 ha. I didn't hear you. We're going to do it again. Ha, 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 ha. Good job. Float the arms out, turn the palms up so the inside elbows and the palms look at the ceiling. Shift your ribs and try to touch this wall and then this wall. Maybe there's somebody with you and you can try to tickle them, yes? Or maybe it's one of your pets and you can try to reach for them. Reach and reach and reach, float those arms all the way up. Oh, balloon is on again. Easy in your shoulders, but the balloon is lifting your spine and your head. Make your pencil point, draw your pencil point across the ceiling. That's it, getting taller, stretching your side ribs, feeling nice and long. Come back to center, put a dot on the ceiling, open the arms, Melt the wrist, the, the, the elbows down, sorry. Soft muscles. Push forward. Drop your fingers down and up. Circle and circle. Again, down and up. Reverse the direction of the circle. Good. Wiggle your fingers. Squeeze and open your hands and relax it down, shake it out. Good, let's wiggle forward in our chair a little bit. Slide your right foot forward and bring it in. Left foot forward and bring it in. Remember, chest is up, spine is lifted, focus is straight ahead. Good, keep lengthening the back of the leg, lengthening the back of the leg, Really push that heel along the floor. 
Good, let's turn the toes out and we're going to diagonal, diagonally stretch our legs to the right and to the left. Right leg out, left leg out, right leg out, left leg out, right leg out, left leg out. That should feel really good. Toes come straight ahead, right leg out. Place your hands on your left thigh. Pull the toes of the right foot back toward the shin and relax. Pull back toward the shin again and relax. Pull back toward the shin, lengthen the whole back of that right leg. Breathe in, lift your spine, exhale, tilt forward from your hips. Flat back, lengthen the back of your neck. Pull those toes back. They want to look up your nose. Good. All right, now we're going to reach both arms and we're going to do what we did last week. So we're going to swim back with the right arm, the left arm, and drag the leg in. A little tap, tap, tap there. Left leg out, push that heel forward, place the hands on the right thigh, pull the toes back on the left foot toward the shin, relax. Pull back again, relax. Pull back again and stay there. Press against your right thigh, lift your chest and spine, breathe in, breathe out, tilt forward, flat back, lengthen the back of your neck and pull those toes up so they can look up your nose. Good, still breathing, arms here, and we're gonna swim starting with the left arm, up and up, Come back, slide the leg in, and tap, tap, tap. Open toes, heels, toes, heels, toes. Nice right angle here, hands inside your thighs. Your ankles are right underneath your knees. Press your legs, open, release. Open, release. Open, release. Open, release. Shoulders up and drop, wiggle, wiggle. Up and drop, wiggle, wiggle. Now press those legs open as wide as you can, breathe in, exhale, tilt forward. Press your chest toward the floor. Feel those feet pushing down into the ground. Breathe, good. Sit tall, relax your arms. Turn your head right and center, left and center. Look up and center. Lift your chest, just the neck moves. Look down and center. Tilt over to the right and center, left and center. Wiggle it out, toes come in. Good. Scoop under the right leg, lift and put it down. Other side, lift and put it down. First side, lift and put it down. Second side, lift that leg and put it down. First side, make sure you're clasping your hands. Lift under that right leg, drop your shoulders, lift your chest. Circling the thigh, up, around, and down. Up, around, and down. Up, around, and down. Up, around, and down. Bring it up. Drop your shoulders, lift your chest, bring your foot forward, toes up, ankle circles, big ankle circles. Two, one more, and reverse. One, two, three. Push that door closed, stretch that leg nice and long. Arms float up, leg floats down, out and down and pull it in. Scoop under the opposite leg, clasp your fingers, lift it up, drop the shoulders, lift the chest. Circle the thigh, up, around, and down. Up, around, and down. Up, around, and down. One more, up, around, and down. Bring it up, drop the shoulders, lift the chest, and bring your foot forward again, toes up, Ankle circles, one, make these really big and slow, two, three, and reverse, 
One, two, three. Line your toes up with your knee, breathe in. Exhale now, shut that door, push it shut with the bottom of your foot, stretch the leg, arms float up, leg floats down, arms open, bring the leg in, wiggle it out. Good, take a big breath. Exhale, hands on your thighs, drop your head, round your shoulders, round your upper back, top of head is gonna go towards your knees. Good. Now push the top of your head towards your camera, towards your screen. Flatten your back, pull your elbows behind you. Chest forward and lift all the way up. We're gonna do that one more time. Kind of, kind of like a snake. So drop your head first, then your shoulders. Then soften your chest, round, pull your bellies in. Top of the head going toward your knees. Now the top of the head is going towards your screen. You're lengthening your spine. Don't look up, look at the floor. Pull your elbows back. Breathe and lift up, wiggle it out. Okay, maestro, we're gonna speed things up a little bit. So, wiggle forward in your chairs, pump your arms. And march, open out, come back in. We're gonna march on the threes. So we have one, two, three, clap. 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 Clapping overhead. Two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. Adding a kick. Good. Two more. Last one. Good, take a breath. Exhale, good, and out and in, and in, out and in, out and in, to the side, out and in, out and in, out and in, out back to the front, add the arms. That's it, push, 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 to the side, push, Push, push those hands and feet. Push back to the front, new arms. Good. I'm your mirror. To the side, same arms. That's it. Back to the front, arms down. Kick, kick. Kick, kick, four more of these. Kick, kick, I'm your mirror. Kick, just follow me. Kick to the side, push and push and push and push and push and push and back to the front. Here, push and push and push and push, keep going, push, you can do it. Push and push and push and marching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back in, two, three, four, five, six. Hold your chair, take a breath. Exhale, lift the leg up and out, up and in. Up and out, up and in, a little faster. Up, out, up, in. Lift it high, like you're stepping over a cone, a little orange cone. Hold your chair seat, keep your spine lifted. 
One more each side. You got it. Good, take a breath. Exhale and circle arm around. Breathe. Eyes follow fingers. Eyes follow fingers. One more time. That's it. Good, float the arms out. Give yourself a hug and twist from side to side. Come back, wiggle yourself back into your chair. Hold the front of the chair or your front chair legs. Lean back, shoot your legs forward, point your toes and start kicking. Clap, clap. Don't stop kicking. Clap, 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 and rest. Sit up, breathe. Lean back, pull those bellies in, shoot the legs out, point your toes and keep kicking. Roll up, roll down. Roll up, roll down. Roll up, roll down. You can do it. Roll up, roll down and rest. Lift up, arms all the way up. Make that pencil point, feel tall, breathe. Arms float down, wiggle forward, pull your sit bones forward, stay there. Okay, so we're gonna get our spoon, yes, with our ball. Spoon and ball. Put the ball in the spoon. Place one hand on your thigh, spoon is in the other hand. This elbow is gonna stay right next to your rib cage, sitting tall. You're going to move the spoon out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Were you able to do it without the ball falling? Remember, 10 points if your ball falls, <laughs> 20 points if you have to get up and chase it, okay? <laughs> All right, switch hands. Ready, elbow glued to rib cage, still sitting tall, focus straight ahead. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Good job. Switch hands. Yes, it's back in the right hand or whichever you started with. Still sitting tall, focus straight ahead. Reach forward and in. Reach forward and in. Forward, in, forward, in. Switch hands. Ready and breathe. Forward, in, forward, in, forward, in, forward, in. Good job. Switch hands. First time I did this on YouTube, I had a potato and it fell <laughs> almost every other movement. So better to use a ball. Let's go up and back to center. Up and back to center. It doesn't need to go high, just about shoulder height or a little bit higher. One more on this side, up and down. Switch sides and up and down. Up and down up and down make sure your spoon is flat up and down if you're having difficulty with your spoon find a place where you're holding it if you hold it back here too much you might not be able to balance that ball you want to get a little bit more in the center 
of the big handle. Yes, and try to keep it flat. Now we're gonna try some circles. We're gonna go out, up, around, and down. Out, up, around, not too big. Out, up, around, and down. Still looking straight ahead. Use your peripheral vision. Good, let's try one more on this side. Good job. Switch hands. Find your grip and circle. Out, up, around, and down. Nice and smooth. Two more. Out, up, around, and down. Out, up, around, and down. Good job. All right, take the ball. Put it in between your thighs. Yes. Squeeze your thighs against the ball and keep it there. Put the, the spoon in your right hand. Lift it up and tap the, your shoulder blade and down. Swing it up, tap your shoulder blade and down. Swing it up, tap your shoulder blade and down. Swing it up, tap your shoulder blade and down. Switch sides. Are you still squeezing that ball? I hope so. Swing up, tap your shoulder blade and down. Up, tap and down. Up, tap and down. Up, tap and down. Good job. All right. Hold the ball, open your legs, use both hands. Keep those legs open, lean forward, reach and pull in. And again, reach and pull in. Pull those bellies in to stabilize your core. And in, reach and in. One more, reach and in, good, toe heel in, very good. Okay, take the ball, we're gonna put the spoon down, we're gonna put the spoon on the back of our hands. Open your fingers. Whoops, <laughs> try to balance it there. See if you can move your hand from side to side. Good, switch hands, spread your fingers wide. Try to balance the ball on the back of your hand. Moving the hand slightly. Good job, everyone. Okay, grab the ball. Now you can try that at home. You can also try that walking but make sure you don't have anything in the way. Let's toss our ball. Nice, easy tossing. From one hand to the other. And ready, toss, toss, not too high. Toss, keep tossing, tossing. And Finish, good, all right. Put your ball to the side, spoon underneath your chair and wiggle forward. Pull your heels behind your knees slightly. We're gonna rock to get up four times. Use your feet to push against the floor as much as possible. Ready, lift and come down. Lift and come down, lift and come down now all the way. Push into the floor, lift your spine. Breathe here, lift your chest, lift your spine, keep breathing. Good, little claps. Add your feet, nice rhythm. 
Now move around to the back of your chair. Hold your chair if you need to. So you're gonna hold your chair here. I'm gonna move my chair over just a little bit so you can see me. I'm gonna be marching here. You're holding on behind the chair. Good job. Open out a little bit, come back in. Open out a little bit, come back in. Nice parallel position. Again, ankles right underneath hip sockets, shoulders over your hips, hold your chair, and bend and straight, and rise and lower. Bend your knees and straight, lift your heels and lower, bend your knees and straight, rise and lower. Again, bend and straight, rise and lower, bend and straight, rise and lower. With one hand, bend and straight, rise and lower. Other hand, bend and straight, rise and lower. First time, again. That's it, and bend and straight, rise. One more, each side, bend and straight, rise and lower, bend and straight. I hope you're smiling while you wave, good job. Turn your toes out, step out a little bit. So from behind your chair, feet are slightly separated, good. Bend and straight, rise and lower. Bend and straight, rise and lower. Step out and back. Step out and back. Step out and back. Step out and back. Still separating the feet a little bit. Again, the whole thing. Bend and straight, rise and lower. Bend and straight, rise and lower. Stepping out, shift the weight, come back. 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 Good. A little bit wider with your feet. Now we're gonna bend our knees. We're gonna shift right. We're gonna come up over to the left and bend both knees again. So we're making kind of a circle with our pelvis. So bend, shift right, straighten, shift left, bend both knees. Next time we go up, we're gonna actually lift our heels. So shift right, straighten, lift the heels, come over to the left, come center. Shift right, up, lift the heels, over to the left, center. One more time. Shift, lift, left, center, straight. Take a breath. Let's try it to the other side. Bend, shift, no lift here. Around to the right, come back to center. Keep your heels on the ground. Let's do it one more time. To the left, lift the spine and the pelvis over to the right and center. Now we're gonna start lifting our heels. Shift, lift, right, center. Shift, lift, right, center. One more. Shift, lift, right, center. And rest, good job. Toe heel in, bend your knees. Wiggle your hips from side to side. Loosen them up a little bit. Okay, you really have to work your core to do things like that. All right, today we are going to, I'm gonna move my chair a little forward. We're gonna hold on to the side of your chair. So I want you to walk around to either side. Whichever side is comfortable for you, use your strongest hand to hold on to your chair. Feet are going to be close together. Put your outside hand on your hip to help stabilize your pelvis. Yes, we're gonna lift up this right 
this outside leg, sorry, this outside leg, it can be right or left. And lift it up and down with a bent knee. Lift it up and down. Lift it up and down. Lift it up and down, good. Turn your foot out. Lift the knee out and down. Out and down. Out and down. Out and down. Toes straight again, straight ahead again. Now, we're going to lift the leg straight, not high, not high. Maybe 45 degrees at the most, but if you only get it an inch off the floor, that's great. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. What did you have to do with your standing leg? Drill it down into the ground so it's really strong like a tree trunk. Turn the, the outside foot out to the side, low lifts, up and down, up and down, up and down, using that strong tree trunk leg. Good, come back to center. All right, we're gonna move to the other side of our chair. So walk around to the other side. Outside hand on your hip, lifting the knee up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Turn that foot out. Lifting the knee to the side, up and down. Up and down. Strong standing leg. Good. Toes back to center. Straight leg lifts. Forward. Forward. Doesn't have to be high. Forward. Forward. Turn the toes out. Side. Side. Side side. Good job. All right, march your feet out a little bit. Walk back to your first side. Hold your chair. Yes. I'm going to move mine over just a tad. Okay. Holding. Hand on your hip. We're going to do some leg swings, but we have a little touch in the middle. So we're going to lift with a bent leg and touch. Lift behind and touch. Bent leg front and down. Bent leg behind and touch. Bent leg up and down and back and down and up and down and back and down. Good job. Bend your knees and straight. Wiggle your hips a little bit. Walk over to the other side holding your chair. I don't want to step on the ball. <laughs> yes. Hand on your opposite hip. That's it. Outside leg moves. Outside leg. Lift it up and down. Bent leg behind you and down. Lift it forward. Lift it behind you. Lift it forward. Lift it behind you. One more. Lift it forward, lift it behind you. Good job. Bend your knees and straight. Bend your knees, wiggle your hips a little bit. Good job. Hold your chair, walk back behind your chair. Turn your toes out, step out, step out. Not too wide. Bend, swing your right foot up towards your left derriere. And bend, swing your left foot up towards your right derriere. Bend and swing. 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 Don't do what I just did. <laughs> I tilted the chair. Bend 
and swing, bend and swing, bend and swing. Last one, bend and swing. Good job, stay here. All right, shift down, shift down, shift down, shift, making a little under curve or a little V and reach, 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 reach. Both arms sway if you want, otherwise you can hold the chair. Good. Now we're gonna circle down, up, around, and reach. Down, up, around, and reach. Similar to the circling of our pelvis that we did earlier. Down, up, around, and reach. Down, up, around, and reach. Down, up, around, and reach. Down, up, around. Last time, down, up, around, reach. Hold your chair, take a breath. Exhale, good. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch, so you can go a little further. Bend and stretch as far as you can go comfortably. Pull your skinny jeans all the way up. Zip your magic zipper. Flatten your toothpaste tube from your tailbone. Really flatten that tube all the way up. Squirt it out the center of the top of your head onto the ceiling. Lots of toothpaste on the ceiling today. Let go with one hand. If you can, let go with both. Now feel your feet boring down into the ground. Feel your balloon on as you wipe the toothpaste off the ceiling. Open wide with those arms. Show me that you've turned into some stars again and you're twinkling and you're shining and you're glimmering and glittering. Smile. Test your balance. Good, come center. Hold your chair. Toe heel in. March in time to the music. Little marches. Come to the side of your chair. Coming around to the front. You're still marching. You're crossing your hands onto your shoulders. Good. Feel the chair with the backs of your legs. Pull your bellies in. We're gonna stick our derriere out. Squat, stick it out and lift. Squat and lift. Pull those bellies in. Squat and lift. Arms forward. Squat and lift. Squat and lift. Squat and lift. Swing the arms slightly behind you. Slow squat. Squat. Reach for the chair all the way down nice and smooth no plopping into the chair good job wiggle a little forward shake one leg shake the other shake it out shake it out good come toward the front of your chair open your feet out toe heel out slide your right leg out there Hold your left chair leg. Reach for your foot on the right side with your right arm. Up and pull away. Big breath here. Breathe. Nice, easy stretch. Reach out and down. Pull that leg in. Slide the left leg out. Hold on with your right hand to the right chair leg. Reach, pull away, big side stretch. Good, reach up, come back in. Toe heel in, so your knees, toes, 
and legs are lined up with your hip sockets. Take your right hand, put it behind you, down low where the chair seat meets the back of the chair. Take your left hand on the outside of your right thigh. Lift up, big lift, spine is very tall. Breathe in, breathe out, turning your chest, shoulders and head to the right. Breathe in again. Exhale, turn and look over your back shoulder and breathe. Try to wring it out like a washcloth, the whole spine. Breathe, eyes are open wide looking behind you. And unwind, wiggle it out. Take your left hand, reach behind you where the chair, the chair seat meets the back of the chair. Take your right hand, put it on the outside of your left thigh. Big breath in, sitting really tall. Turn your chest as you breathe out. Chest, shoulders, and head looking left. Breathe in again. Breathe out, turn your head, look past your back shoulder. Open your eyes wide, see if you can look behind you as much as possible, wringing out the spine and any tension that's left there. And relax and coming back to center. Wiggle your shoulders a little bit, float your arms out, give yourself a hug, nice big hug, unfold, come down, place your hands here, Drop your head down, round over, pull your bellies in, heads towards your knees, push and lengthen, nice and long like a cat or a snake. Pull your elbows back and lift all the way up, feeling really tall. Let's breathe in for five counts through our nose and out for five counts through either your nose or your mouth you choose. Ready to begin, sitting nice and tall. Breathing in, one, two, three, four, five. Breathing out through nose or mouth, one, two, three, four, five. Relax, breathe normally. Feel yourself centered, breathing and heart rate slowing down to normal again. Good. Big smiles, everybody. Okay, pat yourselves on the back. Two thumbs up for working that hard today. Good job. All righty. Do I have some Shout outs. <laughs> Marianne and Awaz. Okay, Marianne and Awaz is back. Wonderful. And anybody have anything to say about the spoon and the ball? <laughs> and so. Barbie says she, if her husband saw mashed potatoes in the exercise room, he might think there's a problem. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I know. Don't have food near this. <laughs> we did we did not use our spoon this way today. Yes. <laughs> okay. This is more for balancing. So when you are balancing a ball on the spoon, sitting or standing or walking, which we didn't do today, but you can try at home. Yes. This is for tremor in particular. So tremor, coordination, okay? Peripheral vision, proprioception, all of those things. And that's important for all of us, not just people with Parkinson's. So there you go. Any questions? Any other questions? Okay, so don't forget that you can like us on our YouTube page, 
like our classes, comment on our classes, join our YouTube channel. Yes, it's wonderful and easy to do and not expensive and you get some perks. Like us on Facebook and Instagram. Those of you who are in the greater Austin area, please don't forget our in-person classes have all, all been postponed indefinitely due to the COVID surge that we are experiencing in the greater Austin area. So we will uh, get back to you and inform you as soon as things get a little bit calmer here and we feel that it's safe. But remember that your safety and well-being are number one for us. So join us on YouTube. Our YouTube schedule is back to the old schedule. That means Tuesdays and Thursdays are at 11 o'clock Central Time, so much earlier Pacific Time, 12 o'clock Eastern Time. So scratch that information that I, that I gave to you last week, okay? <laughs> Anybody have any questions? I know, lots of changes. We just have to go with the flow. What can I say, okay? <laughs> I love you all. I hope you stay well, stay safe, stay hydrated, don't forget your water bottles, and above all, please don't fall, okay? <laughs> you know my rule. All right, I will see many of you on Thursday. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Don't miss our classes all week long. Thank you. Bye for now.